Good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host, Santos Catalina Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to continue this uh, series of video tutorial in uh, BMS Engineer Computer Programming Tutorial. Now today, what I'm going to do is to show you how are you going to code the uh, other services for this internet cafe, okay? So first of all, let me run my application just to show you what I'm going to present today in this part 16 tutorial, okay? So let me uh, new share. We share right now. Just want to share you the okay. Now, guys, so this is my running application. Okay. Now, as you know, in a cafe, there will be other services that will be available or being offered. Okay. So let me just log in these computers, right? Okay. Wait. Uh, just some. Um... Okay, so log in, log in. Okay, now as I said, there will be other services that is being offered in this simple internet cafe, okay, like this snack bar. Now, as you can see, I have here other services available. Uh, we have this snack bar tab, consumable, other services, station details, receipt, price lookup. Okay, so let me show you the price lookup. Okay, now let me. Uh, new share. Okay. share, share, okay. So now I'm showing you the other services available. So let me repeat. So we have several services here. Okay, so we have the snack bar consumable today. Now, guys, what I'm going to show you is uh, the snack bar again. Okay. So let me start with the snack bar. Now, the, our concern here is uh, first, uh, let's say the station, computer station user wants to avail some of the snack being offered in our cafe, let's say the soft drink. Okay. So as you can see, once I click the checkbox, now here I'm going to introduce another control, which is a checkbox. So when you check, this checkbox for the soft drinks, then cost of snack beverages will be 18 here. So there will be some totalized sing uh, event here, okay? So let's say soft drinks, then you want a slice of cake, okay? So that will be 18 plus 25 will be 43. That will be the cost of a snack or beverage that needs to be uh charge to the particular station number again okay? so what i'm going to show you how i was able to code this one again okay? so uh, so let me show you again since i'm in this uh form consumables other services station receipt and we have the price lookup okay now actually the price lookup uh initially i have to put all the prices so let's say for the USB, 8 GB, 16, 30, 30. Now, actually, uh, the price is not updated. Okay? Ball, pen, now this is the soft drink. The one you are seeing here. So the price here is 8, and then the cake is like 25. So what is happening is when I try to click the soft drink checkbox, the code it will just get the price stipulated in the price lookup tab. Then it will be displayed here. Okay. Then again, let's say he needs, the user wants cookies. Again, that will be added here. Okay. So in this scope, I'm just going to show you how I did this one. Okay. So as I said, this will be a very long, uh, this will be several uh, small, small parts be able to complete this full tutorial okay 
So let me change my share. Let me go back to my coding. Okay. So this is my coding. Okay. Now uh, I will try to stop my running application. Yes. To okay. Now here, guys, as I said, I just want to show you how I try to code this. Okay. So for the let me come here. Guys, look up. Okay, so this will be our initial prices or cost for its uh, offerings. Okay, so we have here the soft drinks 18. Okay, now uh, this will be text lookup soft drinks. Okay, so we have the control name here. We will be using that one. Okay, now in uh, let go, let us go to the snack bar. Okay. Now for the snack bar here. So what I'm doing here is when I try to click this, okay. So let me show you the let me show you the code. Okay, so I will come from here. I will go to the okay. Okay. So again, so I will just double click this so that it will bring it. Now this one uh, I have a I have used a region here, okay. So this region is for snack bar setup, okay. Now you can, uh, this is a good practice. You can put region in your code so that you will know that region is for snack bar, okay. So this one is the end region for the snack bar, okay. So actually what you can do, you can try also to minimize that one, okay. So snack bar setup, that is the region. Okay, so that is region for snack bar setup because we are going to set up the snack bar. Okay. Now what is happening there? What is happening there is uh there will be an event check change. Okay, so this is an event check change. When the checkbox event, when the check change event for the, the checkbox change, then this is will be the this will be the code, okay? So what I'm doing here is if, okay, I have, as you know, I have here a checkbox for soft drinks. So this is the checkbox, okay? So if check soft drinks that check, so meaning uh, if this one is checked, this checkbox is checked, I'm checking it, is true. If it is checked, if it is true, then, Text of things that enable equals true. So I'm just trying to enable this one, this text box, okay? Then uh, text of things that text is equals to text lookup something. Okay? So what I'm doing is just I'm going to take the, uh, or I'm going to assign to the text property of this text box. The, of things text property from the text lookup tab and assign it to this uh, text box okay and if if otherwise it is not checked then i will just disable the text box then assign or uh, assign a zero character to the text property of the text box, text subdings, text box, okay? So that is what I'm doing there, okay? Then, uh, text subdings that clear, I'm just clearing what is the text property there, then focusing, okay? So just focus the, focus on the text box, okay? Now another, the same routine will be done to the other check box, like this copy, okay? So you are just going to replicate. Uh, you are just going to replicate the uh, the the code, okay? So li like in the T, you will use the same. But what is important here is the information or the initial price you have uh, assigned to the uh, look price lookup tab, okay? So that will be the code here, okay? Then what is important here is this one, okay? So as you can see here, 
I am here the text box for totalizing whatever is checked in our snack bar tab. Okay. So how are we going to do that? Okay. Now, so let me go to the... Uh, okay. So this is the... Uh, I have prepared here a sub-procedure. That is a sub-procedure cost snack. Okay. So cost is not what I'm doing here is, uh, okay, I tried to declare a variable here because in that tab, we are going to total all the click uh, snack or beverages, okay? So dim amount a single, so I'm using here a single data time and uh, initialize it with zero. Now for each TB, Okay, so now again, I'm using here a uh, loop structure. Okay, so uh, this is a for each loop structure. Okay, for each TV. Now I'm using a variable here as a text box. Okay, so let me for each TV text box. So this is text box for each text box. So what I'm trying to do is check one by one all the text boxes in this group box, okay? So let me go back there. So for each TV as text box in GB is not one, okay? Because as you can see here, I have two group box here. One group box here and one group box here. This is the group box. So the code there, this is GB1 is not. This one is group box. Two is not okay. So let me go back to the command. So it says here for each text box, I just used variable TB, which stands for text box as text box. Okay, in GB1 is not controls all type of text box. So this is the uh, code for that one. So what we are doing here is uh, we are checking each text box in the uh, GB1 is not. Uh, group box of type text box, okay? Then what I'm going to do is amount is equals to amount plus val uh, tv that text. Next, okay? So it will check all the text box there, then it will compute for this one, okay? Amount is equals to amount plus val tv that text. val tv that text, okay? So, what is happening here? If there is an amount here, it will be just, uh, the first amount here will be assigned to the amount variable. Then, uh, we are checking if there are amount in this checkbox, okay? So, that is happening here. So, amount is equals to amount which we initialize to zero plus val tv the text so each text box we are getting the value of whatever is in the text property of this text box okay so that is the meaning of that one so amount is equals to amount plus val if there is some value there next again i am using another variable here to check the other uh, group box there and totalize the amount. Then that one will be displayed in my text box. So that text box is this one. So I'm going to first I'm going to check whatever is the amount or the text property in these text boxes. Then add it or totalize it or sum it up in the amount variable. Then again, check another here. Okay. Uh, this, the text uh, properties of this text box says, I will get the value of that one and it will be added or sum up in the amount to variable. Then uh, those uh, the the amount here, the, or I mean that the sum of the amount here and the sum of the amount here will be displayed in this text box. So let me show you again. So that is dim amount as single equals zero. So for each TV text box, 
in a GB1 is not controls of type text boxes, do this. Amount is equals to amount, zero plus value. If there is some text, if, uh, if the text property of each text box there, there will be some value, then we will get the value or corresponding value by using the val function, okay? Then, like we accumulate that one to the variable amount. The next, this as I said, this is a for loop uh, structure, okay? So as long as in the group box there, it will check one by one all the text box, then do this instruction. Then if it is done, then the next instruction is this one. Again, we are going to check the text boxes, all text boxes in a group box GB2 is not, okay? Then do the summing up of the text property for the text boxes. Then finally, if the, this loop is finished, then it will go to this portion. Then the text property of that text box, the value is the amount, which is this one, plus the amount of this, okay? So let me show you this one so that you will, okay. Now, uh, for the text of the text change, then we are calling this, uh, we are calling this sub procedure. So when text sub thing that text change, so this is the one. When this one change, when this one change, okay, the event text change, when this one change, then it will call our sub procedure, this one, to do this, okay? So to be able to let me run the application, okay? Then new share, okay, wait, snack bar. Okay, new share, I will going to show you this, share, okay? So to show you uh, how the code works. So as I said, this is a, G1 group box, okay? Then this one is GB2 group box, okay? Now, when I click this, okay? So, I will take the value from the lookup tab, then assign it here, okay? Then what is happening when this text box text change, then I'm calling the sub-procedure, which is the uh, cost snap, okay? I already explained how it is being displayed here. Let's say he wants cookies, okay? So that is the uh, routine or, or the code, okay? So let's say I will select also here. Then you want some nuts, that is 10 pesos, then that is 38. 10 plus 10, 20 plus 7 is 38. So that is the code, how we are trying to uh, totalize all the check, check boxes here, just to get the total uh, cost for the uh, snack or beverage being availed by the user. Okay. So guys, uh, again, this is just a uh, portion by portion. So you will not be, you will not be, uh, you will be able to uh, follow. Okay, especially for the beginners. As again, this is for beginners. So once again, thank you for joining me this uh, tutorial, and I do hope the one who are watching this uh, are learning something. Okay. So again, if you are new to my channel, please help me promote it by subscribing. You can like, put your comment. And again, once again, I want to reiterate that this one is for beginners. Okay, this is not for expert. If you are expert, then maybe you can share something so that we can provide some more information to those who are following our tutorial. So again, before I will end, thank you very much. Let's all be safe and God bless us all and bye for now.